Locomotion, Locomotion Station. Locomotion, Locomotion Station. We're here to learn, have fun and play at Locomotion Station. It's always so wonderful. Day. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Locomotion Station. Thanks for joining us again. We have a special show all about pets today, so stay tuned and you'll learn some interesting things all about pets. My name is Miss Linnell and I'm the teacher and conductor here at Locomotion Station. And we have with us Engineer Chris, so we're gonna say hello to Engineer Chris. Can you help me do that? Hello, Engineer Chris. Hello, everybody. I am the railroad man, I drive the train along The wheels they roll from gold to gold, the whistle blows her song Around each turn more things we learn, new lessons every day When we pull into each station, all across the nation A child's imagination leads the way Thanks, Engineer Chris. Well, we have some children who live here in Austin, Texas, and they've joined us as our class this morning to help us with all our activities. And I hope you can join in um, a lot of the activities at home, right from your home. You can do them along with us. But let's meet our children and see who we have. Let's, hi, what's your name? Zara. Zara. How old are you, Zara? Five. And since our show is about pets, do you have any pets at home? Oh boy. And what do you do to take care of them? Um, I get food for my dog. Food for the dog. Very good. Hi, what's your name? Amorous. Amorous. And how old are you? Six. Six. And do you have any pets at home? Yes, I have a hamster and a fish. Hamster and a fish. Wow. Those are the really neat pets. And let's see who we have over here. What is your name? Ava. Ava, how old are you? Five. Five. And do you have any pets at home? Who do you have at home? Two cats. Two cats. And what do you do for those cats? How would you take care of the cats? I get them food. Food. Very good. That's important. And what is your name? Ariel. Ariel, how old are you? Five. Five. And what pets do you have at home? A hamster and a fish. Is that your sister over there? Yes. <laughs> Does one of you ha take care of the hamster and one of you take care of the fish? You both take care of both of them? That's a good plan. Okay. Well, the first thing we're going to do here in class today is say the Pledge of, our Legion, uh, Pledge of Allegiance to get our morning started. And it looks like Zara would like to hold one of the flags today. Ava, would you like to hold the other one? All right, so we're going to stand up and we will put our right hand over our heart. And friends at home, let's find your right hand. But you raise it up and it goes right over your heart. And let's ready pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And now the Texas Pledge. We say, honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Very nice. All right, let's put these flags back. And now we can get started learning all about pets. And the first thing we're going to do is use some pet words and um, unblend them into their sounds. Do you know that every word has individual sounds? So what we're going to do, and it's very important when you're learning to read to be able to hear the individual sounds in words. So we're going to take some pet words, we'll put them up on our picture, which is a candle, and then we're going to pull down a magnet. Well, I'm going to pull down a magnet for each sound. So let's say the word is cat. We're going to say cat. And then this arrow means um, we sweep our finger under and read the word cat. 
All right, do you think you can do that? So what I have for each of you is a the candle. You're gonna put your markers, which are little bears. You can use anything really. At home you could use buttons or uh, Cheerios, whatever you'd like. You put them up here and then you're going to pull them down. At, so one, and then we'll read it, cat. All right, so let me give you each person a piece of paper and three markers. Actually, let's do four. I'll give you all four markers. Here you go. And here we go. Here we go. Four bears. Let's get some different colors. All right, so put them on the candle. We always start on the candle. And how about the word dog? Let's try that one. Duh, very good, Zara's already got the first sound. All right, so we're going to do, do it with me. Duh, ah, guh, dog. How many sounds are in that word? How many bears do you have? Yes, three sounds, very good. Push them back up to the candle. And how about another pet word like a horse? Should we do that one? Okay, now, ready? Echo <sighs> or s now there's more letters in the word horse than that, but we're not worrying about how to spell it right now. We're just hearing the sounds. Okay, so horse <sighs> or s horse. Okay, push them back up. Um, let's try bird. We can have a bird as a pet, can't we? B good B B R D. Bird. How many sounds in that word? Three sounds, yes. Push them back up. Okay, how about um, mouse? Are you ready? Mmm, mmm, ow, s, mouse. Yes, again, three sounds. So we hear, okay, push them back up. Oh boy, okay. This one is going to be snake. Good. She's got the first sounds. Ours got the first sounds. Mm a k snake. Oh, how many sounds in that word? Four. That was a longer word, right? More sounds in the word. Okay. Very good. And we'll come out front so we can move around a little bit this morning. Get stretched out and warmed up. <laughs> so we're going to play a game and um, we're going to have a giant dog bowl. <laughs> we must have a pretty big dog huh? for this. Okay, and these pretend are dog treats. So we're going to toss dog treats into the bowl for the dog. So you can stand, I'm going to stand kind of far away because I want it to be challenging. So let's see. Oh. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> I just need to be a little closer. Let me see if I can make it if I step farther back though. Can I do it this time? Nope. Try again though. <laughs> okay. Oh, I need to be closer. All right, so you can make it easy or challenging for yourself. Um, how about Ariel, you wanna start? Okay, I'm gonna put it over there like I was. And there's your doggy treats. All right, let's see if she makes it. Whoa! <laughs> Doggy's gonna have to fetch. You wanna come a little closer? There it goes, yay! <laughs> Almost. All right, very good. All right, next person, Ava, you wanna try? Okay, doggy treats. Almost, that was awfully close. There it goes. Yep. <laughs> Very good, she just kinda had to get it figured out a little bit where she had to throw them. All right, how about Zara? <laughs> it 
Engineer Chris, you want to play a little bit of tossing yeah, music, sure. maybe? There we go. <laughs> oh, that doggy gets five treats. Yay. Okay, and last person is Amaris. Let's see, she's going to make it challenging. Look how, how far back she's going. Whoa. <laughs> There she goes. Yep. All right. Good job, ladies. <laughs> All right. Now we are going to, oh no, before we do this, we're going to act out some animals. Oh, so think about a pet kitty that cat, you would have. Kitty cat. Kitty cat? Okay. Now we're going to move like that animal. So you can join us at home. How does a kitty cat move? Oh yes, Amaris is washing her face. They like to lick their paw. They walk like this. Um, what do they do if they're scared? Do you know? Good. They get they hiss and they arch their back. Um, and they have sharp claws. Can we sharpen our claws on the scratching post? Yeah. They do this, they stretch their back. Yeah. And they sleep an awful lot, don't they? Yes, yeah, there she goes. Yes, very good. All right, what's another pet? A dog. Okay, how does a dog move? Ruff, ruff. Yes, and they, um, they move faster, don't they? They kind of, can you wag your tail? Wag your tail. They pant. Yes, that's good. Amaris is panting. They get, when they get hot, that's how they, um, what they need to do, right? Um, what else do they do, Zara? Um, they get doggy treats. They get doggy treats, yeah. How do they beg for a treat? They sit, rough. They might sit. You can tell your dog to sit, yes. Okay, can anybody else think of something a dog does? Uh-huh. Um, you don't know? Ava, what does a dog do? <laughs> what if they want to go outside? They scratch at the door? <laughs> Yeah. Yes, and you know you have dogs. They roll over. Okay, I'm not going to try that one, but you might want to try roll over. Dogs are good. Uh, you can teach them lots of tricks, can't you? They like to do tricks. All right. Any other pets? Yes. You have one. A fish. You know, because you have a fish at home. What is your fish? How does your fish move? Like this, so we can do our fins like this. They swim around the bowl, around the bowl. What if you feed them? What do they do when you feed them? Oh, they go to the top of the water and get the fish flakes. Okay. Oh. And what? How about um, your hamster? How does your hamster move? Uh, they go really fast. They go really fast. Do you have a hamster wheel? Uh, yes. Let's run around the hamster wheel. We just go round and round. We never get anywhere, right? But we get exercise. You know the hamster wheel goes around? Yes, it goes round and round. And then the hamster runs more faster. <laughs> okay, what if we were bunnies? We were pet bunnies. What would we do? We would hop, 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 hop. Oh, good. Yes. Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> How do bunnies eat a carrot? Yes, very good. They nibble with their little teeth, right? Okay. Uh, what if we had a pet bird in a cage? What would it do? Fly. Yeah, fly maybe fly. Away. Fly away. Well, let's pretend that we're birds that have been let out of the cage for some exercise. So we're going to fly around our house, all right? Yeah. And let's land on our owner's shoulder. And let's fly away to our cage. And fly back to the cage. Okay. Here we go. Back in our cage, birdies. Back in our cage. <laughs> All right. Very good acting out animals. That's fun, isn't it? Well, you know what? Now we're going to read some sentences. So let me get this. Can you all sit down? We'll sit on the floor and read some sentences about pets. <laughs> And ladies, actually, if you could scoot a little bit this way so friends at home can see. All right. Um, I have 
words here that we're going to make into sentences. A sentence is a complete thought. So our first word is, if you know the words, you can read them along, read them along at home, friends. I, this word is have a horse. Now, we were counting sounds in words before, but now let's count the words in the sentence. I have a horse is one, two, three, four. Now, there's something very special we need to do to stop this sentence. Do you know what this is? A period. Period goes at the end of a sentence, and it stops the sentence. All right? I have a k a t. I have a cat, and then we stop with the period. Okay, what's another one? Yes. A dog. Dog. Okay. D a g. Let's read this sentence together. I have a dog. Okay. How about? Yes. What's something we acted out that we haven't talked about? Oh, mouse. Mouse. Oh, okay. That's a good one we haven't talked about yet. M, ow, s. I have a mouse. Period, right? Let me stop. Okay, one more. One more. Yes. Um, bunny rabbit. Okay, good. How about we just do bunny? Because bunny rabbit's not. B, uh, n. And that's going to say the E sound. I have a bunny. Very good sentence reading. Good job, friends at home. All right, so let's now, how about if we go to the story tree? It would be nice to hear a story, wouldn't it? And we can, yes, stories about pets. That sounds like a plan. Let's get our pet horses. Pet horses. All right. Friends at home, if you'd like to grab a broom or if maybe you have a, a horse like this at home. All right, so let's ask um, Engineer Chris to play us some galloping music. Are you ready? We'll say, Engineer Chris, please play. Engineer Chris, please play. So come with us and gallop and gallop and gallop. So come with us and gallop to the story tree today. Our animal friends will take us, will take us, will take us. Our animal friends will take us to the story tree today. And here we are. Boy, what a nice ride on our lovely pet horses. All right, let's come on in and have a seat. You can sit on the stairs or in front of the stairs. And Engineer Chris is going to join us because he has a special song for us in just a minute. Uh, but first we're going to read a book and it's called The Pets You Get. So let's see what happens in this story by Thomas Taylor and Adrian Reynolds. My sister's got a guinea pig. It's her little furry friend. She loves it because it's cuddly and she never stops hugging it. But me, I think a guinea pig is really boring. It's nowhere near as cool as other pets you can get, like a dog. Much more exciting and much more fun. He can bark, he can jump, he can run. We'd have such a great time splashing about on the beach. Then we'd snooze together on the sand. But my sister says that dogs are smelly and make a lot of mess. While guinea pigs are tidy and don't make any noise while you're watching TV. They're so boring, but if she won't have a dog, then I know the perfect pet. It's a huge shaggy bear with claws and teeth and a ferocious roar with claws and, and I'd have a bear we'd, we'd crash around the woods all day long and then watch the sun go down from the mountain cave. But my sister says a bear would be too big for her bed. She'd rather sleep with her cuddly little guinea pig instead. Nah, I don't want a pet that sleeps for half the day. I need something much more exciting. The pet I'd really get is a huge smoking dragon with wings and horns and fire from his nose. That would show my sister. But my sister says dragons don't exist and that I'm just being silly. Then she gives me her guinea pig 
she gives her guinea pig a big kiss right in front of me. Yuck, so gross. Why would you want a silly little guinea pig when there are so many more amazing pets you can get like a prowling panthers or roaring polar bears or eagles or rhinos or humongous stomping dinosaurs or a tentacled sea monster or a hulking gorilla or a snake or a rat or even a giant cat. Anyone would make a great pet for me. But my sister just smiles and says I should give her guinea pig a try. She pops him on my knee and he runs up my arm with his sharp claws. Then he leaps and slides down and zooms off across the ground and dashes away with one of my toys in his toothy jaws. So we chase him wherever he peek, whenever he peeks out, wherever we hear his funny little squeak. And he's really hard to catch. What a fantastic game of hide and seek. In the end, I agree that guinea pigs are sometimes really fun after all, and my sister says that as long as I promise not to scare him, I can share him, and I say yes, though I'd still like a dragon someday. Oh boy, <laughs> he's picking some things that are not good pets, right? <laughs> Would not be good pets. All right, so Engineer Chris, you want to tell us sure. about your song? <laughs> can be, and I hope I'm as good a friend to them as I know they are to me. When I sing my song, they follow along. When I sing my song, they follow along. If they don't know every line, so I ask you please, who's as good as me? Animal friends of mine. How I love my cat, she is round and fat. How I love my cat, she is round I love to watch her free by the garden wall to chase that ball and cuddle me while I sleep. She can wake the house with a squeaky mouse. She can wake the house with a squeaky mouse. As she bats it to and fro, it's a reason why I can tell you I love my kitty so. My animal friends are the best of friends. My can be, and I hope I'm as good a friend to them as I know they are to me. When I sing my song, they follow along. When I sing my song, they follow along. If they don't know every rhyme, so I ask you please, who's as good as me? Animal friends of mine. My faithful pup loves to wake me up. My faithful pup likes to wake me up. He follows me out of the door He growls and squeals Nipping at my heels All the way to the corner store We run and play All the live long day We run and play All the live long day Right until the sun goes down What I really mean Is no one comes between Me and my faithful hound My animal friends Are the best of friends can be, and I hope I'm as good a friend to them as I know they are to me. When I sing my song, they follow along. When I sing my song, they follow along. If they don't know every line, so I ask you please, who's as good as these? Squeezable, huggable, laughable, lovable, animal friends of mine. Thank you. All right. Well, animal, the horse is back into the animal hospital, and we are ready to do some categorizing. Does anybody know what categorizing is? It is putting things into groups where they belong, pets and not pets. So what we have are some animal crackers, and you can get these at home, too, um, just a box of zoo crackers or animal crackers. and. What we're going to do is take a look at the animal. So this animal cracker, I don't know if you can see this at home, but that's a little bunny. Would a bunny be a pet or not a pet? It would. We could keep it as a pet, right? So we're going to put it on the plate. I'm going to give you each this. 
and two plates, pets and not pets, yeah. and your animal crackers. And while you're doing that, I am going to say happy birthday to some friends at home who have recently had birthdays. We have Carter, who is four years old, Trinity turned two years old, King is one year old, happy birthday Bryn, who is three years old, Giovanni is four years old, we have Joshua, who is also four years old. Isabella is three years old. Emmeline is three years old. We have Scarlett, who is four years old. Livia, who turned 10. And Preston, who is five years old. Moxie is six years old. John Henry is five, year old, five years old. Xenian is also five. Happy birthday, Taylor, who turned six. We have Mila, who is five years old. Here's William, he's five years old. And Ava is three years old. Adrian is two years old. And Avery is two years old. Max is two years old. Here's Daniel, Daniel is four. And Kayleen is three. Cameron is six years old. Ian is five years old. And we have Hope who is two years old. Sanaya is 10 years old. And Beckin is three years old. Camille is now five years old. Allison turned 10 years old. Here's Layla who is two and Harper is two. And here we have CJ who's seven, Ayana who is five and Trey who is four. Happy birthday to them. Here's Catalina who is three years old and Ariella is five years old. Well, happy birthday to all our friends at home. Well, how did you do with sorting your animals? Did you get them all into pets and not pets? Does anybody want to take a bite of one of those animals? No? You just want to sort? Oh, are they good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the fun part right now. We get to have a snake. What is that? A camel. A camel. I hope that was on your not pet plates. Plate. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not a pet, a camel. All right. Well, thank you for joining us today. I hope you had fun with all our activities about pets. And um, thank you to Zara and Amaris and Ava and Ariella. And, of course, thanks to Engineer Chris for his wonderful music. And I think now it's probably time to go to recess and we can finish our snacks in just a bit. So let's say, can you all wave goodbye to the friends at home? Bye, friends at home. We'll see you next time on Locomotion Station. Okay, let's go play. How about that? This way, ladies. I am the railroad man, I love each mile of track Along we go through rain and snow, never looking back Up hills we climb, we love the time we spend with you each day When we reach our destination, locomotion station Where a child's imagination leads the way Bye, everybody.